send friend request. Give weapons, cage, and clone. I clone all, all of his bodies. Um, attacking stripper. <laughs> That's so funny. Hello there guys, welcome to a brand new video. In today's video I'll be showcasing Archlight mod menu which is 1.3 version which is the updated version of Archlight mod menu for GTA 5 online. Uh, first before I start I want to show you how to install the mod menu, what the website looks like, how to install the key, how to make an account and lastly how to download the mod menu. Uh, but first I want to show you in Windows 10 so if you go bottom left hand side and you go to uh, Windows security and then you go to virus and threat protection and then you want to go to where it says virus and threat protection settings. You want to click on manage settings. I want to say this, this doesn't affect Archlight mod menu which is really really good. So I want to show you the Archlight mod menu website. Um, so I believe it's called Archlight menu dot com yeah archlightmenu.com okay so once you're on the website um it will look like this you may need to sign into your account if you haven't signed into your account you can create an account and obviously enter your password once you create your password all your information will go to your email that you've registered with um so then you want to sign in then if you haven't purchased a key you can purchase a key uh, by just clicking um registration uh, i've already brought a key so don't really need to do that but i'm just i'm just showing you how it looks like if you want to purchase a mini you have all different ones but i personally went with worker games because i've purchased so many gta 5 mod menus no issues whatsoever uh so i'm going to go to the dashboard obviously sign in with your username and your password it will look like this i'm going to click on login it would say success on top right hand side of your screen so we've got different things here we've got your console which obviously your console well no shit your license key which obviously i've got lifetime uh you can change your discord tag by just typing whatever you want and then press update um, you, if you've forgotten your password, as soon as you've uh, signed into your email and password for your account on archlightmodmenu.com. Uh, at the bottom here, it says 2.8 fixed. Uh, this is the old one. It should say uh, 2.9 uh, because if I go to the Archlight Discord, it literally says uh, change log 2.9 and they fixed uh, internet many loops. Uh, other major bugs, uh, max N NC populate popularity and show fps so what you need to do uh, i'll show you but i'm not going to do it because i've already downloaded the mod menu start off you just need to click download that is simple as that uh, you want to go to archlight um and it will come up as your downloads so if you type in archlight launcher.exe or arch it will come up with the mod menu for example if i type in arch right here archlight launcher.exe and all you need to do is click on it and you're ready to go all right guys so as you can see i'm on gta 5 online right now uh so i'm going to show you how to install the mod menu via online so what you want to do you want to press alt and tab and then you want to go to bottom left hand side if you have windows 10 you want to go to you want to go to the search bar and type in arch you'll come up with the archlight launcher which is archlightlauncher.exe and click on yes that black screen sorry that was just a um admin uh, prompt saying if you want to open the mod menu with option yes or no you want to click on yes and then obviously when you've registered your account on archlightmenu.com uh, their website you want to type in your username and password and then you want to click on login it is simple click and play um, this is what I mean. How to open a mod menu. So these are the keys. So you want to press F8 to open a mod menu. Press F8 again to close. You want to press uh, all D-pad numbers now, okay? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So D-pad 8 to go up. 
uh, deep I had two to go down number four and six to go um, left and right but you don't need to do that for this mod menu and then if you want to select a option is the pad number five and if you want to go back is the pad number zero all right so we are going to preview the menu right now so we have to start off with the player options and before I do that I want to scroll through the menu with the menu options so you know what we are going through got player network vehicle weapon recovery protection miscellaneous teleport and settings so we're gonna go into player settings first we got wardrobe you can input save uh, you can do your clothing type so instead of relying on gta 5 uh, clothes uh, you can rely on this wardrobe option within the archlight mod menu we got model changer so you can do all animals and then particles let's toggle particle let's do head for example let's turn that down to from 0.5 to 0.2 and you can do different ones from alien to alien 2 uh clown lightning ghost that's pretty cool and electric proofs we got bulletproof explosion proof fireproof melee proof drum proof and collision proof invincible which is uh, god mode never wanted that's cops obviously no clip i can literally no clip all around the map which is pretty cool you can do max health you can do max armor uh, invisible uh, alpha i'm not sure about what alpha does and what what it's for make a custom input as well by pressing enter and then you can just type in a number for example five that would be 5.0 you can type it again to the normal default which is one so fast swim uh, no ragdoll uh, weak legs force field which is basically it forces everything and everybody out the way force everything as you can see here everything's like getting smashed with the force field effect so if i keep running see everything just breaks which is so cool look at these vehicles right now they just drag away and if i keep running everything just breaks i got fly Uh, so yeah, that's basically what fly is super jump. I'm gonna turn that on so you can just like super jump swim anywhere This is the newest option with the menu mod menu Well was and clean dry suicide. So that's everything for the player option So we are going to go to network right now uh, session finder and you've got your own session finder which you can do via uh, session finder so join public lobby new public session closed crew join crew crew close friends find friends solo and invite only uh you got your players so you you can check on players where they are uh what the health is and what money they got and you can do spectate you can, like spectate all like the players um script events you can do fake one million uh, fake bank one million uh, invite spam rotate cam center island center job vehicle kick teleport uh, teleport and vehicle i can do the money drop um so for example if i spectate him now and if i drop money it's literally uh, drop a money for him which is 2500 and there's just no more than 2500 which is a shame uh, wish it was more than that um, apart from that he's probably freaking out now uh, kill engine send refer uh, friend request give weapons cage and clone I clone all all of his bodies um, attacking stripper <laughs> that's so funny load save plays rid so if, for example if i save plays um rid um you can click on that which i've already done and you can go back to uh rid joiner and it will come up with your saved uh rids that you've saved and you can join that person through it so you can join player and that is the player's rid which i find it really really uh, useful when it comes to finding players if you want to troll people or 
if you want to say for your friends rid that you know and you want to join off that session off uh, you can do with that oppressor detector uh, all players literally nuke the lobby and uh, kill everybody in the game uh, literally spam and people die and probably people will leave with that uh, you can spoof money, infinite AFK, which I've got that on, bypass chat restrictions that you can spam emojis and spam uh, the same message all over again. Uh, notify players join in and notify leaving players. Um, I don't have that because uh streaming purposes i don't want that to show on stream react uh esp and name esp so you've got all these names around the city so you can see where they are um you can leave session as well uh vehicle options so you can spawn vehicles that's good to, uh you've got a load of options uh delete previous spawn uh spawn inside you got all the dlc cars all the new ones they updated as well which is pretty cool sport classic i don't want to name all of them but i'm just going to go through all of these options and you can see for yourself what we have so go to the dlc 1.67 and let's go to the gauntlet number six and yeah so what we can do and go out of that and then we can upgrade a vehicle okay vehicles upgraded upgraded you can go to your vehicle manager delete all got horn boost you can do times uh that's the 100 for example and how you do that you can press um enter and you can enter your custom input so for example if i put 100 like i did last time it will do 100 so if you press e you go really really fast but without stopping it and control it it's kind of hard sometimes um let's do uh, sound effect and visual effect So it goes really, really fast as well. So yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty cool. So if we do uh, particles, for example, just custom input our uh, scale to five, for example. Choose the option, we can go to the front wheel, left, front, right, and front near. And what we can do this is just lagging my frames, so we can just do one. And um, and if you want to do it a little bit shorter, you can do um, 0.2 and it's smaller. So it's very cool. Um, aerobatics, side flip, jump. So if you spam number five, um, throw up. So if you spam that, it goes higher and higher. Uh, you can add your current vehicle into the manager um, option. Uh, Invincible, which is uh, uh, God mode, and it cleans up your car as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, Seatbelt, vehicle trails, instant entrance. So uh, instead of uh, going outside your car and opening the your door and going in the vehicle you can just go instantly in your car instantly uh no collision uh invisible uh rainbow color uh vehicle fly shoot rockets reduce grip vehicle jump uh bypass speed limit thick wheels and complete upgrade which is a complete upgrade uh you can do clean you fix flip open doors close doors and you can delete a uh, vehicle right so for the weapons projectile uh, you can do fireworks uh, let's do fireworks for example railgun uh, you can do rpg atomizer which is like a ray gun and then we've got a uh, vehicle spawns uh, vehicles you can do like loads of these and just like crash lobby cool and obviously different ones as well explode uh, explosion editor uh, you can do grenades 
and you can do different ones with like sticky grenades if you want or molotov uh rocket tank shell high octane and car uh you can do aimbot as well uh auto shoot and you've got your crosshair for your aimbot grab the gun you can go anywhere with your gravity uh, give weapons that gives you all of the weapons, which is pretty cool. Uh, remove weapons, add ammo, portal gun. So it gives you uh, portal A and portal B. So A is blue, and then wherever you go, the second portal, it teleports you. So you can go back to orange to blue, which is pretty cool. Rope gun, which I don't really like. Tracers. So it shows like all the traces for the weapon. Explosive. You know what that means. Flame. Uh, paint gun. Uh, rapid fire. Uh, infinite. So that's like infinite uh, ammo. Uh, laser sights. So it shows your lasers. Not like really accurate. It's kind of delayed. Uh, teleport. So you can aim and shoot and it will teleport wherever you are shooting which is pretty cool. Uh, you can delete and rainbow. One shot, no recoil. Uh, airstrike. So you can just like spam and airstrike goes off. Force. I think that's force field and not sure about that. Okay so now for recovery. Uh, we've got money, rank, stat, doomsday. Casino Heist, uh, Casino Heist, KO, uh, Max uh, Club, Max Stats, Max Ammo. But before I go into that, I want to go to Money. It gives you literally like a mill under, let's just say a minute. I can keep the money loop on and I want to show you the casino slots and you can win uh, around like 5 mil. The casino and I'm going to show you how the slots work and I'll meet you there. So you want to go to the cashier? and draw like 20,000 if you got that. You can do any. So I'm just gonna max out for this video, which is 20,000. So what you do, you don't go right, you don't go middle, you go far left, which is like right here. And it's the uh, density of the sun. So you press E and then you press enter. You wanna press tab to max bet which is 2,500 from 500. And then you want to press F8 to open a mod menu. And then you want to go to win slots and press enter. And then you win the slots. Just like so. It's very easy to do. You do it again. And there we go, five million. And then you can't do more than 5 million because it says the feature is not available right now. Uh, you can go to rank, you can set your rank and uh, set the rank. That's, you can do ma ma uh, max stats, max stamina, uh, driving, flying, strength, lung, stealth and shooting. Doomsday, skip act 1 to 3. Uh, casino. Uh, I'm just going to go through these quickly. Uh, casino Heist, you can do setup and teleports, all different like teleports. Uh, you can do the setup. Uh, vault Rooms. Uh, max Club, Max um, Snacks and Max Armor. Uh, unlock all tattoos, unlock power shoots, unlock vehicles. A lot of achievements which I don't want to do because I want my Steam account to be some sort of legit, <laughs> even though I'm modern on GTA 5. Max hairstyles, weapons, and lot clothes, protections. So a lot of uh, people are having issues. I see in the Discord for uh, Archlight protections. That's for sure. Uh, notify attacks. I don't have script events. I don't really have any of the script events because that cause a loading time in GTA 5 and Casino. Uh, you get a black screen with a loading bar. So I tend not to put any of the event scripts on. You can go to uh, net events. Nothing of net events whatsoever. Uh, Anti-detection. I only have invincible and super jump. 
Uh, Mackless sinks, I don't have that on. Rockstar admin detection, I have that on. Uh, block cages, I have on. And the last two, you can enable all or disable all for the protections. That's entirely up to you. Uh, miscellaneous, uh, you can do weather. Let's do extra sunny, for example, just for this video. Time, you can change your time, hours, days, uh, um, not days, but minutes and seconds. Uh, Tesla, um, auto, autopilot, uh, radio station, bodyguard. So we can have, for example, do a pug with a pistol and spawn the pug, which is pretty cool. Um, and kill phone, so that means you can't use your phone whatsoever. Enable riot mode, which I haven't used before. It's an Alt F4, and if you want to use uh, this option for thumbnails, which is really good, it disables your HUD. And show FPS, this is the new version of the mod menu. Uh, so you've got teleport. So what you can do with the teleport, you can teleport to anywhere. For example, there. And then I can go to uh, teleport. And then I can set waypoint. And then it literally tele teleports me to that waypoint. Objective, uh, apartments, all different apartments. Uh, clothing stores, all different uh, clothing stores, barbers, all different ones, uh, vehicle services, all different ones, Anima animation, all different ones, sports, all different ones as well. Last but not least, settings. So this is an interesting one. You can go to header loader and you can just, uh, I don't know what that is because it only shows me arch light. Uh, you can do colors by all means it's up to you uh, ESP color so you go to your name ESP and react uh, ESP and then if you go to your settings and you type in uh, if you go to your ESP color uh, you can like change uh, color for your ESP so for example let's do 255 and you can change the position from uh, x-axis and y-axis so for example if i do 1800 uh, it goes far right inside so you just gotta play with it which is 1200 which i do like because it's right on the screen you can see it and the mod menu is not overlapping um for your character in GTA 5 online. Y axis, which is uh, up and down. So it's 50, let's do 500. I'm not sure if that's gonna be off the screen. Yeah, just a bit. So you type it again, and I like going 250, which is uh, bottom left. But if you don't like that, you can go to 50 again, and there it is. Um, you can do the menu width as well. Let's do 730. Um, so whatever width you want uh, you can have and by all means you can save settings so when you go to settings you go to themes go to 90 and you can uh, resave and then what you can do you can reload and it literally loads all your uh, options uh, features within the mod menu what you've selected this is it guys, thank you for watching the video, I uh, hope you enjoyed the showcase of Archlight Mod Menu 1.3 updated version. Uh, by all means, you can help a small content creator just like me by liking the video, uh, commenting down below and let me know what you want me to showcase next. Until then, take care, bye bye.